Every year in March, as the weather starts to warm up, residents of Murray look forward to one thing, the reopening of the local Dairy Queen. If you find yourself driving down Main Street and notice a crowd surrounding an old-fashioned walk-up restaurant, you're probably passing by the Dairy Queen. It may not look like your average DQ. The Murray Dairy Queen is known for its unique style and rich tradition. Throughout the years, the old restaurant has not changed much. No drive through no indoor seating, just a friendly smile while waiting at a walk-up and order station. It started in 1948 and 49, and it's pretty well stayed that way all, all these years. And um, we think it's real important to keep it that way because that's what everybody likes. We're also seasonal. We're closed uh, from November 1st through February 29th and then we open again on March the 1st and that's always a big like celebration of, of spring. Well I think we're kind of more of um, something to do you know it's more of a tradition it's more come and gather than to be just you know come and get it something to eat you know it's, it's more of an experience because you get to stand in the line you feel like you're part of history and a part of the town with a unique place like this. Unlike other Dairy Queen restaurants Murray's DQ only serves ice cream products hot dogs and chili dogs. Well keeping the in with staying with tradition and um, people want the same thing they had 20 years ago we a lot of times we don't lose blizzards that other places you know if we can get the ingredients we tend to keep them, you know, so you can get the same thing here uh, that you got 10 years ago. And plus our hot dogs and chili are unique in that we aren't a system food store. So all of our chili and the hot dogs are something that are special to just this Dairy Queen. You're not going to find a foot long chili dog just like this anywhere else. It's a unique chili and a unique recipe. For the citizens of this town, Dairy Queen is more than just a restaurant. It was a unique part of their lives. Community members who enjoyed visiting the DQ when they were young now have the ability to share the same experience with their own children. When you're when you're young, when you're you know just barely able to stay over the counter, it's it's you know I want to go to Dairy Queen, I want to get ice cream, and then as you get older, it's the hangout. You know you want to go and see who all's out and about, and you meet at Dairy Queen. So a lot of people come back for like Murray State Homecoming or the high school homecomings, and they're so excited that it's still the way it was when they were kids and they really like it that, that it stayed the same. Because the DQ is closed four months out of the year, people in the area are willing to do almost anything to get their ice cream fix upon its reopening. It's really something that they can't get anywhere else and they kind of miss it in the winter so they're excited to get it back when the spring comes. We uh, have to keep the chili and the hot dogs going and the mix poured for the ice cream and things stocked up front and uh, yes it's very hectic when we're when we're really going good and the lines are out to the street we're trying to get everybody through they having to wait too long sometimes it's a, a 30 minute wait or more but we yeah it takes about six or eight people to keep it all going smoothly to get everybody served. Murray DQ is one of few Dairy Queen restaurants that remains unchanged and the Kemp's plan to keep the tradition going for many years to come.